Hello, this is Tom from anti-proton.com and I'm coming here today to talk to you about granite. Granite, radioactive granite, to, to say the least. I should warn you, um, I have a cat running around, the cat will jump on the granite randomly because it is very interested in the granite, so, sorry. I have the Intel guys suited up. I know that's really hokey and not professional, but I'm not a professional, so it's okay. Remember, I am not a physicist, though I might be able to be one, but I am not a physicist. Technically speaking, I am an amateur physicist. I do not have a degree in physics. I am a computer scientist. Different type of science entirely. I hope to get a degree in physics one of these days, but you know, whatever. So I want to make that understanding first. First off, beyond that, I would like to also state my reasons for this video, because sometimes I think people miss what I, my, 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 my points, and I think the problem is that I don't make them clearly enough. So let me make them clearly enough. You can still disagree, that's fine. But at least you'll know exactly what I'm trying to say. I believe that all granite is somewhat radioactive. In fact, I've taken enough mineralogy courses to know for a fact that this is actually relatively true. Most granite is not very radioactive. It's very slight. One-time backgrounds, two-time background radiation, not very much at all. Nothing dangerous. You can live with it around your house for all of your life and nothing bad will happen. All right? There have been notable examples of granite sold in the United States and other countries that were very radioactive, tremendously radioactive. But there are only a few examples of that, and they were long ago, back in, you know, 80s, 90s. The industry's done a pretty good job of stopping that. By the way, I don't work for the industry. In fact, they probably wouldn't like the video because they would probably not want you to know about any of the radiation. But mostly because they probably assume people would take it out of context. Um, I wanted to know how much radiation there was in granite countertops. So, as you can see, I went out and got a hold of, actually, excuse me, a friend of mine got a hold of these for me, thank God. Got a hold of piles of samples for me, beautiful samples, right from a, a, a place that sells granite countertops, who will not be mentioned, because they probably wouldn't be too happy about this. But that's okay, because, well, there's not much they can do about it. Um, and if they listen carefully, they'll, they'll realize that I'm not really knocking granite countertops. All right, this right here, by the way, is the weakest sample I got. Before I tell you its readings, let me tell you that my natural background radiation in my house is approximately 14 counts per minute. If you go to my website, anti-proton.com, you will see what I have now, a month and a half worth of data confirming this. I also took background readings in the, in the closet where I took these samples, 14.833 out of a 60 minute count, 14.62, out of a three hour count, I've taken hours and hours of background readings. And what I did was I took a background reading, then I ran three or four samples. And I took another background reading, then I ran three or four more samples. I statistically almost always average darn near exactly 14 counts per minute. If you want the exacts, I can give them to you. But you need to know a background before, you, before radiation readings mean anything to you. Because if I took this, count, this piece right here that, read, that registered 13.8, and I ran it in Denver, Colorado, I would have gotten something in the 50 to 60 range because you'd add background to the difference that this produces. In this case, because it's 13.833, as you see, it, that, that kind of tells you that when I sample these, it's blocking some of the radiation, some of the background. The counter's on the, on the device while it, while it reads. It blocks everything coming through the bottom. This big, thick piece can block most of the, whatever was coming up, which was apparently accounting for one or two counts per minute but it emanates enough to make up for it. Interesting little thing to take into account. Most of the radiation I'm getting, of course, comes from the top. I did almost every reading at night, and the reason I did them at night is A, because I was home, but B, because then I wouldn't have to worry about the conflicting solar radiation. So let me move this out of the way now and go down the list. I'm gonna give you counts per minute, and I'm not gonna, I have every one of these out at about three decimal points, but I don't wanna go that far because most of that's not really going to matter too much. And I'm going to get to the big three at the very end, the ones that produce the most, because I know that's what you probably really want to see. Okay? Starting over here, 13.8 counts per minute. Beautiful piece. 14.8 counts per minute, mostly hornblende in this guy. Hornblende is a, is a mineral contained, or is actually a bunch of minerals. It's a whole family of minerals. That's where the black comes from. Beautiful piece. 15.33. Look at this one. There's shiny pieces of mica in it. Beautiful shiny pieces of mica. And I'm moving it around so you can see the mica pieces. 
you know, it has a lot of dust on it. Um, this guy was 15.33, very little. I'm moving up, by the way, if you noticed. You can get a beautiful piece of granite like this and no real danger. Your food doesn't cook for you. Okay, I'm getting kind of halfway through my video by now. Here's another beautiful piece, and I'm going to kind of speed through it. As you see, this one's 15.966, but look at these red pieces. This is corundum. Probably corundum. I, I can almost say it for sure. That's ruby, technically speaking. Let me move through this quickly because there is a time limit to this video. 16 counts per minute, 16.9, 17.6, 17.5, 17.7. You see I'm going up. 17.9. Another beautiful, beautiful piece. Look at the shine on that. Little shiny speckles through the little blue things. Neat. Caused by mica. Probably with something else in it. 18.7, 18.7, 18.8, Hornblende 19. crystals all throughout. 19.5, 19.5, and here are the three big ones. This guy, 20.33. 20.33. I'm getting low on time, so I'm going to move to the next two. 26. This guy right here, 14, 14 is 20. This is almost twice background radiation. And now the final one, the toilet seat. I call it a toilet seat because that's what it looks like. I read this guy, I measured this guy for um, 30 minutes and I got 25. But when I ran him for an hour, I got 27. It might have also been the place. Different pieces produce different amounts based on where you measure them. As you can see, I'm not actually getting very much off of it right this moment. Depends on where you look at it. Now, if my camera woman can point down, it's my wife. Let me see if we can get a better piece. 21 counts per minute. Come on, where's a good piece? See, if you notice, if you look closely, there's veins of minerals all the way through this. And it's hard to say which one of them is actually producing the ticking. It could be this pink, which is probably some kind of, kind of feldspar with uh, uh, potassium in it, most likely. It could be this deep red right here. Notice we're climbing again. Um, granite is perfectly safe for countertops, but you might want to have it tested before you use it. Do not worry about radon coming out of it. There is sometimes radon emitted, but it's very, very small. If you're really worried, you can have it tested. And if you worry, test it. Don't take my word for it, test it. Um, getting close to the end here, but some of the pieces are very beautiful. I don't know if you can see the shine on this. There's a shine to it. Very, very beautiful crystals in it. And perfectly safe. But be warned, you've seen some of my videos. I have caught 30 plus counts per minute off of granite before. It can happen. I have it tested. Find your local nerd with a Geiger counter, if nothing more. Maybe they'll test it. But look, we just hit 30. Now, statistically, that will average out to approximately 27 counts per minute over a good long period of time. That is not dangerous, but it is elevated, something you should take into account if you have small babies and things like that, and if you care, and if you believe that that is a dangerous level. I don't think it probably is, but that's my opinion of it. But here you go. I will be glad to show any more of these in any detail to you and do any special testing for you if you want to see it for yourself. But as you can see, at 31 counts per minute, 32, temporarily speaking, this is a granite countertop bought. We're getting uh, ooh, getting right to the end of the video, so here we go. <clears throat> this has been Tom from anti-proton.com, and um, granite countertops are somewhat radioactive, not terribly that dangerous. I'm doing it for you. Bye-bye.